The business is, I wouldn't say going fabulously, just because I hesitate to say that, but it's going extremely well. Just because everybody is very driven right now. You know, we're talking to VCs, we're scheduling those meetings, and our marketing team is growing larger. We're interviewing people like interns to grow our marketing team because that's very important for our social media online presence. And I've got friends working on future expansion. For example, today, we had a meeting with the National High School Climate Forum just to talk, yo, guys, we would like to expand. You guys probably could benefit from having an actual project, partnering with a project that is more action focused, less discussion focused, right? And we provide that. And you guys have members interested in sustainability. You know, you add that to ours. We grow our national base. That's a local chapter project for your members, right? That's so cool. So we had a meeting there. We presented at the National High School Forum delegates last meeting. So that was really, really cool. And I think we definitely got some interest in that. And we're going to look to expand in New Jersey first. Just saturate Lawrenceville, Princeton, West Windsor, things like that. And then expand to, or simultaneously expand to Edison, uh, Levittown in Pennsylvania, and Monroe in New Jersey. Those are a couple places I've identified as being high potential. Like not too far away, but also high density of houses. Something else is we are going to expand to North Carolina, it seems. Especially Durham slash Raleigh, North Carolina, just because high interest in sustainability there good composting locations close to duke i have connections there i have friends there my friends also have friends there so that seems like a good place to go all things considered and yeah i would say that sums it up pretty well as for my own personal progress so today we bought buckets and we bought stickers right <clears throat> so we didn't actually buy stickers just because they're freaking expensive if we bought the amount we wanted to, right, we want them about this big so it's actually visible. So that's what, 12 by 6, roughly? 12 inches by 6 inches? So that's insane. You know, people sell stickers normally like 2 inches by 2 inches. But these ones are a lot bigger, so they cost a buttload of money. If we bought the 50 stickers we wanted, that would have cost like $400 plus. That's insane. We're not doing that. So instead, I just bought two cans of spray paint. You know, we're just going to spray on the stencils. Something else is we confirmed our drop-off location. So we sent over the customer form to Trenton Renewables. They confirmed it. We can now officially drop off there at $65 a ton. So that's great. I also got a response from the HOA of Princeton, the estates at Princeton Junction. And, well, they mainly just asked who'd be paying. Because at first I hinted that it'd be nice that they pay. But now I think it's just we just want to get started. We can pay if we have to, right? We just get households to pay. It's chill. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Um, I think they're on the verge of saying yes, hopefully. So now all we need to do is confirm drivers, get more houses. And, yeah, that should be good. So that's what we're going to work on going forward, getting houses, getting drivers.